so what do we mean by friction in liquids in liquids friction is the resistance between moving layers of a fluid which in other words known as viscosity in general more viscous fluids are thicker for example honey has more fluid friction than water now what is friction losses in pipes like when friction loss refers to the loss when a fluid tries to flow through a pipe a resistance occur between the internal area of the pipe and the fluid particles and this causes the loss in the pressure and this is known as friction losses and this pressure loss is due to the loss in energy of the particles to overcome the viscous force exerted by the walls of the pipes now the apparatus part uh, for this experiment apparatus are stopwatch scale spirit level collective tank and uh, now uh, uh, this pressure loss in pipes is known as head loss which is the sum of major losses and minor losses major losses are associated with frictional energy that is caused by the viscous effect and roughness of the pipe and the minor losses are due to the expansion in diameter and and the contraction in diameter because of the variation in diameter variation in velocity and variation in pressure occurs which causes the minor losses and there generally there are three types of fluid flow firstly we have is the laminar flow now the type of flow in which the particles move in a straight line in the form of a thin parallel sheets is known as the laminar flow and the type of flow in which the particles move in a zigzag pattern is known as the turbulent flow and transitional flow is where uh, when the flow changes from laminar to turbulent or vice versa and a certain disturbance is created that is uh, what we call as a transitional flow now the question is how the type of flow affects friction in pipes in laminar flow friction factor and now friction factor represents the loss of pressure of a fluid in a pipe due to interactions in between the fluid and the pipe is only a function of the reynolds number and is independent of the surface roughness of the pipe in fully turbulent flows friction factor depends on both the reynolds number and relative roughness of the pipe wall and here reynolds number is basically a parameter for predicting if a flow condition if the flow condition will be uh, laminar or turbulent the this equation is the most widely accepted formula for determining the energy loss in pipe flow This is an empirical equation which relates the head loss or pressure loss. Uh, this contains a dimensionless friction factor known as Dirac friction factor, also known as flow coefficient or uh, resistance coefficient. The friction factor here is not a constant. It depends on such things uh, as the, the characteristics of the pipe, the characteristics of fluid. and the velocity of the fluid flow so here in laminar flows f is only the reynolds number and is independent of the surface roughness of the pipe so what the first thing is that what is laminar flow so this is the flow where the fluid travels smoothly or in a regular path or uh, reynolds number refers to the ratio of inertial forces to the viscous forces within a fluid and its formula is h equals to flv square upon 2 gd where h is the head loss f is the friction factor l is the length of pipe v is velocity of incompressible fluid d is the diameter and a is the acceleration due to gravity now i'll tell about the apparatus used in the experiment apparatus are pipes having different diameter connected to differential manometer a collecting tank stopwatch and scale what actually is manometer manometer is an instrument for measuring the pressure acting on a column of fluid consisting of a u shaped tube of a liquid in which a difference in the pressure acting in the two arms of the tube causes the liquid to reach different heights in the two arms now i'll continue with the procedure for a pipe of the required diameter is selected from the setup that is whatever we choose 50 mm 40 mm 25 mm that's up to our choice except for the selected diameter pipe the rest of the pipes are closed the main inlet valve is open to allow water to flow through the selected diameter pipe open the pipe valve and take the knot of manometer from isolate position to air vent position to remove the air inside the bubble
Now the main inlet valve is open to allow water to flow through the selected diameter pipe. Open the pipe valve and change the knot of manometer from isolate position to air vent position to remove the air inside the pipe. Change the knot of reach position when the steady flow is reached inside the pipe. Turn on the exit. Turn on the exit valve of collecting tank to allow water flowing inside the pipe to continuously flow out. Note down the manometer readings. We have to note down the left ring limb reading, right limb ring reading, and then calculate the head loss. Calculate the discharge velocity and analytical friction factor with the help of observation given here. So we are here. We have used some symbols uh, where L represents length of the pipe, D represents diameter of the pipe, A represents area of the collecting tank, C is acceleration due to gravity, and head loss is calculated by the formula 12.6 into left limb minus right limb. T is time taken. Rise of the fluid is h. Under these equations, we can calculate the discharge, which is represented by Q act. Is equal to A into H upon T centimeter cube per second, where A is area, H is rise, uh, and T is time taken. Velocity, which is represented by V, can be calculated by Q act upon 3.14 into d square by 4 centimeter per second, and friction factor F can be calculated by 2 GD into H upon V square. Next slide. so guys after all uh, you know see we are studying the friction experiment in our lab so what are the reason that we are studying uh, the the basic reason is that the friction converts the mechanical energy into heat energy so by the time water reaches the nozzle it has lost a good part of its pressure in, inside it friction loss affects the overall uh, fluid pressure within the piping system and must be uh, considered during the system uh, design fitting bends values expansion joints and any other change in the direction can create friction that cause pressure uh, pressure loss and can result in operation challenges it affects therefore overall piping system so it's very important to calculate the friction force to deal with such kinds of problem so thank you everyone this was the part